we've got the mute on. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello, sweethearts. Welcome to this restorative yoga class to calm your nervous system. Today, we are going to start on all fours. You're going to exhale, round up through your back. Breathe in. And breathe out here. And then inhale, arch your back. Breathe out. And breathe in here. Breathe out and round up through your back. Breathe in. Breathe out here. And then arch your back and breathe in. Breathe out here. So you're going to continue with this slow cat with an extra breath in each position. So my intention for this class is to calm your nervous system. So you can go ahead and put, I am calming my nervous system in the comment section to solidify your intention. And just go ahead and like and subscribe if your nervous system is already feeling a bit more calm. So you're going to go ahead and open up the right side of your body by walking to your left. And you could always do these on the chair as well. And you're going to exhale around here. Breathe in and out. Inhale, arch. Breathe out and in. So when we open up the right side, we are opening up our liver which relieves anger, frustration, and irritation. And then walk over to your other side and you're going to do the same thing. Breathe out, breathe in and out in the rounded position. And then arch your back and breathe out and in in the arched position. And when we open up the left side of your body, you're opening up the spleen, which helps to relieve worry and anxiety. And then come back to the center one more. For this class, you are going to need a bolster, two blocks, a blanket, a yoga strap, and an eye pillow. Okay. For your first restorative pose, you're going to need your bolster. You're going to pull it onto your mat. You're going to walk your feet, your knees over to the left side of your mat. Lower your right hip down. Lengthen your spine long. And you're going to fold forward over the bolster for a gentle front lying twist. You're going to be in this pose for five minutes.
So most simply, your nervous system is made up of two parts. Your sympathetic nervous system, which speeds you up, and your parasympathetic nervous system, which slows you down. In restorative yoga, we are accessing the parasympathetic nervous system, and in particularly, a healthy combination of the ventral vagus and dorsal activation of your parasympathetic nervous system so that you leave the class feeling zened out, meditative, and contemplative. Slowly lift yourself off your bolster and back up onto all fours. You're going to walk your knees over to the right now and lower your left hip down onto the ground, lengthen long through your spine, 
and slowly lower down over the bolster. You'll be in this side for five minutes as well. So your ventral vagus system is part of your parasympathetic nervous system. And it's also known as your social engagement system because it's, it's a system that's found in mammals. It will help you to feel safe and connected and it will provide you with a feeling of co-regulation. Now when we practice yoga, we yoke we join and there is union, not only between our body, our mind, our emotions, our energy and spirit, but also with all living beings. We recognize that we never practice alone, that just as we are practicing restorative yoga for our nervous system, so too are thousands of others around the world practicing restorative yoga for their nervous system. So through that knowing, we can feel a sense of connection and that provides healthy tone for our ventral vagus nervous system.
Okay, you're going to release this pose from your body and come up to a comfortable seated position. You're going to rub your hands together. We're going to do restorative yoga for your eyes here. So rub your hands together, create some chi, and you're going to place your hands gently over your eyes. So your central nervous system is made up of your brain and your spinal cord. And your eyes are actually part of your front brain, according to neuroscientist Andrew Huberman. He's a professor and neurobiologist at Stanford University. So let's do that again. Rub your hands together. Place them over your eyes. Just shake that off. And one more, rub your hands together. And place it over your eyes. And shake that off. Great. You're going to place your bolster horizontal at the base of your mat for your feet. And then you're going to need to fold your blanket for underneath your belly. So take a blanket and you can choose how thick you'd like to have it. Take your blanket and you're going to make a narrow fold for underneath your belly. And then you'll want your eye pillow or a pillow for underneath your forehead so that you can place your forehead on the ground and still breathe through your nose. So you're going to be in this pose for five minutes. Your feet are going to go up on the bolster. The blanket's going to go under your belly and your forehead's going to go on the eye pillow and your arms will go in a robot position like at 90 degree angle and this is downward facing dog restorative downward facing dog So your vagus nerve is sometimes called the wandering nerve because it's the longest nerve in your body. It enervates the facial muscles, your throat, your lungs, your stomach, and your intestines. When we have high vagal tone, our digestion improves and our mood stabilizes. Approximately 80 to 90% of the nerve fibers of the vagus nerve are used to communicate the state of our internal organs to the brain. In other words, from bottom up. When it comes to emotions or gut feelings, we refer to this information which comes from the internal organs and reaches the brain through sensory fibers.
Okay, slowly come up from this pose. You can put your blanket off to the side. And for the next one, you're actually going to need a pillow for your head. It's more comfortable. And you're going to need your bolster further up on your mat for a side bend here. And we're going to do a side lying uh, side lying pose for your spine here where you're lying over the bolster here so you can lie over your bolster it doesn't matter which side you'll do one side first and the other side next you can bend your bottom leg straighten out the top leg or you can bend both legs is easier uh, like m less slack on the spine lengthen the arm underneath and then you take your top arm over you're going to be in this pose for five minutes. And to feel it more, just check if you're rolling to the side uh, forward. You want to be right on your side. And that will open up your side body more. So in restorative yoga, we can safely access the healthy dorsal vagus tone of the parasympathetic nervous system. Often dorsal vagus system is presented as complete shutdown. It protects us from life-threatening situations by shutting down the body to conserve energy. This is the freeze mode of fight, flight, or freeze. We might become numb or disassociate or paralyzed with fear. Not fighting or defending our body is often the most life-affirming choice our body can make and definitely should be celebrated. But when we soothe our nervous system, when we're calm and still and quiet in a more contemplative state of mind, like we're doing in this restorative yoga class, we are actually safely accessing the dorsal vagus system. This is actually what we're doing. This is accessing a blended state of ventral vagus and healthy dorsal vagus tone that allows us to feel calm and rested where our minds are clear and can receive insight without effort. So restorative yoga is a healthy way of accessing this blended ventral and dorsal part of our nervous system.
you're going to slowly release the side from your body. And you can roll over to your other side. So bottom leg is bent, top leg is long, arm comes overhead. Roll open so that you are accessing your side body here.
And slowly release this side bend from your body. And you're going to set up your next pose. It takes a bit of setting up. You want to leave space at the top of your mat for your head and your shoulders. And then at the bottom of your mat, you'll be using your blocks. And you can either put your blanket on top of it or a cushion. So you want an, to create a big long prop to lie down on. If you have two bolsters, you could use your bolsters. You'll need your eye pillow and you may want a blanket to pull over top of you because your body is probably cooled over the course of this class. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit on top of this props, on top of the props you've created. And then I recommend that you bind your feet so that your legs don't roll off. And you're going to lie down on this. So your whole body are on the props and your head and shoulders are off the props for sh supported shoulder stand. And you're going to be in this pose for 10 minutes. You might want to place your eye pillow over your eyes here. And you're also free to pull a blanket up over top of you here. Eighty percent of the fibers of your vagus nerve arise from your body and travel to your brain. Only twenty percent go from your brain to your body. And this is why it's so important to get into our bodies to regulate our nervous system, to soothe our nervous system, and to feel calm. We really can't think our way out of a wired nervous system. So in this pose, soften the muscles behind your eyes. Let there be space between your teeth so that your jaw is soft. Relax your neck, let your shoulders be heavy on the ground. So a poem from Mary Oliver called The Swan. Did you too see it drifting all night on the Black River? Did you too see it in the morning rising into the silvery air? An arm full of white blossoms, a perfect commotion of silk and linen as it leaned into the bondage of its wings a snowbank, a bank of lilies, biting the air with its black beak. Did you hear it fluting and whistling, a shrill dark music like the rain pelting the trees, like a waterfall, knifing down the black ledges? And did you see it finally just under the clouds, a white cross streaming across the sky, its feet like black leaves, its wings like the stretching light of the river. And did you feel it in your heart, how it pertained to everything? And have you too finally figured out what beauty is for? And have you changed your life? 
And did you feel it in your heart, how it pertained to everything? And have you too finally figured out what beauty is for? And have you changed your life? 